Hi there, it's Nicole here today for Simon Says Stamp, and today I am so excited to share this animated flamingo card featuring components from the May 2017 Simon Says Stamp card kit. Simon Says Stamp has joined up with Yuchi's Design for this animated stamp set. So I'm going to start by building my background with components from the kit. I have got some of the Illustrated Faith Designer pattern papers, and I'm using some of the stitched, or rather, excuse me, the regular rectangle dies from Simon Says Stamp. This is the basic rectangles collection to die cut my floral background. And then I'm gonna need a couple of frames. I'm gonna cut one from one of the solid pattern papers, so the back of the pattern. And then I'll cut another one from some of the green cardstock in the kit. And also I wanna die cut the black and white striped acetate. And this is the grid acetate that makes the stamp appear to move. So I'm gonna take the green frame and attach that to the black and white uh, striped acetate first. So I'll put that on the back. One of the sides is a bit more textured that is going to be the back. So the more smooth it will be on the front here. So here's kind of what that looks like. And then I'm gonna use my black frame behind that, but I'm gonna alter it a little bit and I'll show you why. It's just gonna help make my slider just a little bit easier. I'm putting together my own little slider feature. I did die cut a white rectangle using the smaller of those two dies I used for the frame. That way this little piece, it's gonna be the slider, will fit into that perfectly. This is where I'm gonna stamp the flamingo from that exclusive stamp set included in the kit. Go ahead and make sure I get that all placed perfect. Now, the key to this is stamping it straight, which can be a little tricky. So I use the Misty that is going to help tremendously with getting a really nice stamped image. In fact, I inked it up twice and stamped it so that it's nice and black, very nice solid image, and also nice and straight. So this will be the component that gives the slider or the animated part that look where it's moving. So I'm just gonna show real quick behind there. Of course, I've not made the slider yet. Now this is altering the frame. I'm gonna cut one of the long sides away. That's just gonna give me a nice little frame for that to slide out. It's gonna slide out to the right. I just need to add a tab, a pull tab to this. That way it's gonna make it easy to slide this back and forth to create the animated look. I'm only gonna place adhesive on three sides of my frame and then attach that to the altered black frame. So there you can see how it's gonna work really easy and it looks like that little flamingo is just moving along there. Isn't that cute? These are just really unique stamps and very fun. They look like they're moving. I'll go ahead and again, just put adhesive on those three sides and attach my frame to that floral background that I die cut previously. That's gonna give a little more interest to the card design by having a pattern paper background. Then I've got a little piece of black pattern paper here left over from my frame that I used a scoring board to create a little score line. It's obviously too big at this point, but I need some sort of pull tab to make it easy to pull the animated portion back and forth. Also, I did change my adhesive so that my frame does not pop up like it just did there. When I was still working out the design of this, I wanted to use something that I knew I could maybe move if I needed to. So that's, I changed it to some glue dots, which were much stronger because you definitely don't want that frame to move for the recipient of the card. Now I kept the pull tab way too big. I'm gonna to have to adjust that a little bit. I wanted to have enough to hold onto and pull out, but that's just way too big. So again, I used an, an adhesive that I was able to kind of work with a little bit. I can trim that down now. Wanna make sure that I can get my adhesive on there. I left the back a little bit longer and then I did end up even 
tucking the tab all behind the white panel because I felt like it kept getting stuck, which was a little frustrating. So I'm just gonna tuck all of that behind. It's gonna be nice and adhered. Wipe off some of those little dots. And I also used an eraser to help me get rid of some of that. So there is my little pull tab. And now I can pull it back and forth and look at that. Look at the flamingo move. Isn't that fun? Just such a unique idea. Um, interactive cards are all the rage and this is just a truly unique type of interactive card. Really, really fun. Okay, so once I have that, I want to add just a few embellishments. So I need a greeting and I took the ICU stamp set. This was released quite a while ago. In fact, it was part of a card kit a couple years ago at least, I believe. And I'm going to stamp the thought bubble and the word hello in that and then use the coordinating ICU die to die cut this and attach it to my card. This is going to give me a nice little greeting. Then they'll, there will be an additional phrase inside the card to finish that off and just kind of give it a nice, well-rounded, finished look. So again, I'll just grab a greeting. I'm going to stamp that on the inside. So it'll read, hello, you're pretty fantastic. And finally, I do want to add just a little something else to the front of the card. Where this is a fairly clean and simple design, there's no coloring of the image. It's an animated type of card. You wanna add, make sure that it still is fun to look at and add a little bit. So I will attach my little thought bubble with some foam adhesive, but then I thought it would be fun to kind of go with that floral theme of the background and take some of the little mini flowers this is a die from Simon Says Stamp, and go ahead and die cut a bunch of those solid pattern papers and the cardstock in the kit with that die, and then piece together my flowers. So I've got a bunch of flowers here. I've got some in yellow, orange, light pink, dark pink, and then of course the green from the leaves. And I'm going to build a little cluster in the bottom left corner and also add one to that thought bubble up high. And that's really just gonna finish it off. It adds a tiny bit of interest to the card, to the frame, and to the greeting. I'm using mini glue dots to attach those and really just doing a little inlay with the little green pieces in the center of the flowers. You could use some gemstones, some mini pearls, little rhinestones, something like that. Um, Nouveau crystal drops instead if you wanted to. Um, probably could have done that in green. I wasn't even thinking about it. I just inlaid those little green cardstock pieces, but I did end up going over all of those with the Morning Dew Nouveau crystal drops, which is a nice clearish color. So it's going to give a tiny bit of dimension to the inside of the flowers. If you don't wanna worry about doing that inlay, I would say take some green crystal drops or um, something similar and create your own little flower centers and that would be super easy as well. I'm using a quick stick tool. These are pretty teeny tiny flowers so that's gonna help keep my fingers out of the way, out of the glue. Some have little liquid glue, some have glue dots. Just depends on the size and kind of where I was putting them. And then move that flamingo back and forth. So super fun. Here's those Nouveau Crystal Drops in Morning Dew to finish off the center of my flowers. And there is an animated flamingo card featuring the components from the May 2017 Simon Says Stamp card kit. Thanks for joining me today. Please be sure to check out the Simon Says Stamp blog for more information. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.